Good morning, Fremont family. Dave Flores here. I'm one of the elders of the church. When Dave Pack assigned me to do the prayer for Psalms 24, I was thrilled because 30 plus years ago, I sang this song in a church choir. Yes, I actually sang in a choir. And if you do a Google search for Psalms 24, you'll find that it was put to music in various forms. It's amazing that after 30 years, I can still remember the lyrics. Before we pray, I will recite a portion of Psalms 24, starting with verse 7. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory shall come in, that the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors that the king of glory may come in, that the king of glory shall come in. But Psalm 24 acknowledges the supreme authority of our God and the greatness of his being. He lets never forget to rejoice that the earth and everything in it, the world and all its people belong to the Lord. Let's remember that he is the one who laid the foundation of the earth and created the seas and the rivers. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you that you are the great King of glory and the Lord of hosts. May we never forget that you are our maker and redeemer and by the blood of Christ we have been saved. Father, the whole earth belongs to you. The mountains, the plains, the lakes, the rivers, the oceans and the seas. From the outer crust to the inner core, this earth is yours because you made it and it exists for your glory and pleasure. Lord, thank you for creating us in your image. Help us to be holy like you, so we can be worthy to stand in your holy place. When we open the doors of our heart and let the King of glory enter, you are the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord of heaven and earth. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.